Hi everyone, so I wanted to do a quick video today, um, well, I'm hoping it's quick, but I actually have a really exciting project that I want to share with you guys, which I'll be filming um, right after I get done with this video, but this is just a little short video um, showing you guys how to alter a personal sized card holder pocket. Um, and the reason why I am doing this video is because I do have a couple pocket sized card holders already, but I figured this would be a good little tutorial, especially if you've never owned a pocket size and you did buy one um, and you have extra pocket, um, you know, extra pocket things that um, you don't want to go out and purchase. Because I know sometimes these can be expensive. They can be around... Um, I've seen them all the way up to like $10 for this little piece of plastic, I guess. Um, I know if you've ever ordered a Doki book, you can get these for like a dollar. So if you ever order a Doki book, it pick, you know, some of these up extra because they're really reasonably priced on their website. But um, I just got this. It was a, a belated Christmas present. Um, I've mentioned in past videos I'm going to be starting school soon, so this was a late Christmas present um, for that reason. I needed a small planner to carry with me um, so that I could keep my school schedule and um, assignments and stuff just primarily for that, and I figured pocket size would be perfect for me because I'm going to be carrying um, some heavy books too, so I didn't want something too big. Now you guys know that my home binder or I meant my home planner is a happy planner which I was going to do a plan with me but I figured it was already Wednesday. It was kind of pointless to do that. Um, I did go ahead and decorate it. Um, I will post a picture if you're interested in seeing what I did for this week on my Instagram. Honestly I love how it turned out. It turned out super cute. Um, so I will post a picture on my Instagram. So if, if you are curious to see what I did for this week, um, shoot on over to my Instagram and, um, you can see it there. Uh, and I will link it as I usually do, um, down below. So anyways, I, uh, like I was telling you guys in a past video as well, I did have one of these before and I definitely had buyer's remorse. The... Um, I know it seems so basic on the outside, the Maldens do, but honestly, um, the things that you can do uh, with these are endless. Um, you can make them as cu cute as you want on the inside and even on the outside because you can have cute little paper clips and stuff and uh, also little charms too. So I am going to, after I get it all set up and decorated, I will do a flip through and show you guys how I set this up and everything like that. So um, enough with that. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to alter this pocket really quickly. So basically what you're going to do is you see these little lines where they had sealed it. So it's only going to be a four uh, well, you could probably fit two cards in each pocket, but um, it, there's only going to be four card slots versus the six because, as you can see, it's too long as it is. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to carefully cut the last section off. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to carefully cut this last section off, and if you cut I'm um, too far down on the last section that's okay because you're not going to be using that one anyways so it's better to cut more off the bottom obviously than the top because you don't want you know there to be a gap on this one because you're going to be using this one so once you have that cut off you can either save this because I mean you can't um, well I mean if you didn't cut it too far like I did but you could make it a single card slot if you wanted to um, I'm not um, but anyway, so you're probably wondering like what we're going to do with these holes since it is, um, since the holes are going to be off because as you guys know, the pockets, I already have some of my cards in here already, but the pockets do have the six rings, but they are close together versus the, uh, personal because it, it obviously is bigger. So I'm just going to pick out a washi tape 
and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the strawberry one that come out for the Valentine's Day collection at Target, which I love this one, and the little rainbow one is my favorite. Oh, and the and the gold glitter one. I love this one, but I didn't think the glitter one would work too well for this. So I'm going to be using the little strawberry one, and what you're going to be doing with that is, um, let me go ahead and cut, Let's see I have a little, cut it straight. Okay, and what you're going to be doing is just lining up your tape. And that's okay that there is a little corner right there because you can always cut that off after you're done. But I'm just going to basically line it up with this line right here. All right, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the bottom. Just be careful you don't cut your pocket. And then I'm going to turn it over. And line it up again, except for I'm going to try to line the strawberries up as well. Okay, so once you have those lined up, you can just, you know, because you, you're going to, the washi tape is so thin, you're going to be able to see the line where the pocket ends. I hope you can see that. So what you're going to do is carefully cut around the excess tape. All right, and then at the bottom. All right. So now that you have your uh, tape cut, what you're going to do is you are going to, hopefully, let me just raise my tripod up really quick. I didn't get my hole punch out. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to take whatever hole punch you have and just stick it in, line it up, okay, and now you have your holes in your pocket. So now you're going to be able to, and hold on, I have a, um, well, I don't know where my store card went to show you guys, but you are going to be able to, let me pop this open. You are going to be able to put this in your planner now. So, um, it will hang a little bit, but I honestly don't mind that. Um, it's a little full right now because I haven't got it set up. But um, it will hang just a little bit, so I'm going to be using mine in the back. But honestly, for something that didn't cost you anything extra, um, I think it's worth it. So, oh, this notebook is kind of making it wonky. Um, so, anyways, I'm not sure how it would work. Well, yeah, you'll still, you'd still be able to get your pin in there, too. So, uh, it is probably a little bit longer than the actual personal pockets, but if you just have this laying around and you need one, like, right now, and you don't feel like spending the extra $10, this is a good way to reuse something that you're not going to use or maybe that you have extras of. So, I really like that, and um, I will... I will be using that. So I hope you all enjoyed this short little tutorial uh, and this and I hope it helped somebody you know somebody out there that wanted to know but uh, I just figured I would share that with you guys because I was going to make it for myself anyways 
So I'm going to quit blabbing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the other crafting video that I was telling you guys about in my DIY um, paper piecing dashboards. If you haven't seen that, that's a really neat idea to reuse things that you maybe haven't used in a while or repurpose things um, that, um, you know, you can use for, you know, pocket dashboards. So if you're interested in that, um, go check that video out. I'll link it below as well. So I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone.